now we can write switch C in switch C VLAN 30 here switch C so fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 so both are designated port next switch A switch A fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 can be connected to the root bridge so fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 is assigned as an root port next switch C in switch C fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 can be assigned as root port because the switch C that fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 can be connected to the root bridge next we can see switch B fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and switch A fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 in these two ports one port can be blocking state it depends upon the MAC address let's we can check the MAC address of switch B 005 0005 here we can see 00D0 so switch B is a least one so switch B sorry this is switch B here we can see switch B fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 is designated port so switch A fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 is blocking port ok let's we can check the answer go to the switch A here we can give show spanning tree VLAN 10 here we can see the spanning tree VLAN 10 so fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 both are designated port so here we can see VLAN 10 switch A fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 is a designated port next we can go to the switch and check the VLAN 10 show spanning tree VLAN 10 here we can see switch B fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a designated port we can see switch b fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a designated port now we can go to the switch c here we can check show spanning tree vlan 10 here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is an alternative that is blocking port switch c fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is an blocking state and switch c fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is an root port here we can see root port ok now we can check the switch b vlan 20 show spanning tree vlan 20 here we can see vlan 20 is a root bridge so fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 both are designated port here we can see switch b fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 both are designated ports now we can check the switch c show spanning tree vlan 20 here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port switch c fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a blocking port here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a blocking port now we can check switch a show spanning tree vlan 20 here we can see switch fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is root port switch a fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a designated port now we can check VLAN 30 so go to the switch C here we can give show spanning tree VLAN 30 here we can see fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 both are designated port so fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 designated port now we can check switch A show spanning tree VLAN 30 here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a blocking port and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a root port switch a fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a root port and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a blocking port now we can check switch c show spanning tree vlan 30 here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a designated port and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a root port fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a root port and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a designated port ok 
so in switch a b and c in three switches we can create three vlan so in switch a vlan 10 can be assigned as an root bridge and vlan 20 and 30 can be assigned as an non root bridge in switch b vlan 20 can be created as an root bridge and vlan 10 and 30 can be created as an non root bridge in switch c we can create vlan 30 as an non so root bridge and vlan 10 and 20 can be created as a non root bridge using pair vlan spanning tree protocol plus we can enable particular vlan can be created as a root bridge and particular vlan can be created as a non root bridge so it can be applied logically thank you friends